Well, good evening, everybody. It's Hill Redneck out here in Communist, California. Well, just a quick little video to let you know. I just uh, read that the second impeachment of Donald Trump, he got acquitted on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to impeach a non-sitting president since he's a private citizen, but facts be with me, they came out. That means... Now we get to wait and see what else the Democrats are going to pull on him. Because now they can't censor him. You know, I don't know what the hell they got up their sleeve next, but they're going to keep trying something. Are right, getting reports that his attorneys' houses and families are all being attacked and all that stuff? Well, the count was like 57 to 43 as far as the acquittal in the Senate. All the Democrats, of course, voted to find him guilty. Seven Republicans, or as I like to call them, rhinos, and we all know who they are. They voted to find him guilty, too. I'm going to read those seven names. As far as I'm concerned, they all need to be voted out. You know, we're going to start off with Senator Richard Burr out of North Carolina. Senator Susan Collins out of Maine. Senator Bill Cassidy out of Louisiana. And, of course, we got Mitt Romney out of Utah. Ben Sasse out of Nebraska. Lisa Markowski out of... No, Ben Sasse out of Nebraska. Lisa Markowski out of Alaska. And Pat Toomey out of Pennsylvania. You know, we either vote them out or they change their, to their righteous uh, name, which is Democrats. In other words, pile of shit eaters. You know, the government just wasted about... Oh, rough, you know, light estimate, probably $8 million trying to run the second impeachment. You know, trying to blame him for that. But it's awful funny. While this is going on, they're all trying to disregard that the riots are still going on in Portland. You know, nothing's being said about that. It's a little bit peach because it's a peaceful protest. Yes. You know. Now, also, uh, just read a, a headline. Biden is trying to decide if Israel and Saudi Arabia are actual allies that we need to take seriously. Or can we push them off to the side? What a horse, pile of horse crap. You know, what is going through this clown's mind? Who's feeding him the bullshit? Does he even bother to think or about what he's doing or saying? And I guess uh, the part I brought up the other day about the fact he gave uh, one of his aides just a slap on the wrist. You know, I guess they, they decide the easiest way for that guy to do is to resign. That way he doesn't embarrass Biden. So he resigned today. You know. It's a crazy friggin' world we're living in. But I'd be interested, you know, in seeing... What the GOPs do now, what Trump does now. Now they've, they haven't stopped him from running again. But I'm sure they're not done going after him. I'd bet a dollar to a donut on that. Because he scares the dog piss out of Democrats. Right now, they don't know which way to jump. But they're going to try to do everything they can to destroy this country in the time they have. And speaking on the California side, the recall 
Governor Nonsense petition finally got enough signatures to go on the ballot. So, you know, that's got a few people worried. You know, and of course, Nancy Pelosi is very upset with the cowardly Republicans that didn't vote to uh, Donald Trump guilty. So, you know, she's going to have her little hissy fit about that. We all need to be impressed. She was evidently in there slapping tables and everything else. So, we'll see how it goes. You know, maybe things will turn around. I think we got a long four years in front of us, people. As far as I'm concerned, the words I said on yesterday's video about me considering Biden a traitor to this country still stand. There's a damn thing about him that I respect. <clears throat> he hasn't got a thought in his head that somebody else hasn't put in there. It's like opening up a fucking tin can, take the lid off, and pour something else in there. Just like a Pinocchio. Let's put an idea in his head. Open the lid, pour in the idea. Close the lid, make the mouth move. But, just wanted to give everybody some good news. Trump got acquitted, you know. So that means uh, he can start making plans, or his family can start making plans, and who's running next. Or how they're going to affect things behind the scenes. Because I still believe... I probably always will. Trump has America's interest at heart first and foremost. You know, you look up the word patriot, you're going to see his picture in there probably, in my opinion. Because the whole time he was in the White House, it's all he cared about was this, this country. Not so much the politics, but the country. And he did what he could. Could have done a hell of a lot more if people got behind him like they should have. I'm not talking to normal people, you know, ones that work for a living. I'm talking to Congress and the Senate. But they were all too busy trying to protect their own pockets. But I want everybody to remember the military serving overseas, the ones serving here. They stand a wall so we don't have to. Also, watch out for our police, our fire, our EMTs. Lend them a hand if they need it. Remember, they're there to serve us. We're the first ones we call when we need a line. You may want to defund them, but it's funny how, when you're in a bind, the first thing you think of is called 911. It's the old redneck. We're out. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.